Before we get on with this video, I want to thank the sponsor of the video, Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription that has over 600 designer fragrances. They let you choose between some designer fragrances for only $16 a month. And if you use my code, you can get 30% off your first month, which makes it only $11 for your first month. Which is absolutely crazy because some of the scents they sent me range from $250 to $500. They send you three different fragrances every month in these cute little pouches, and the containers they come in are absolutely adorable. Adorable. All you have to do is twist them and it comes up to a portable little perfume sprayer. These are actually a great size and can last up to 30 days. The first scent they sent me this month was Alibi by Oscar de la Renta. Oh, this one smells so good. It smells super delicate and sweet and just super girly. The next scent they sent me was from Veronique Gabay called Vert this year. It's so fancy I can hardly even pronounce it. Oh, but it smells so good. This one smells very elegant and clean for smelling kind of like mint I just can't believe I got such designer fragrances for so affordable So if you guys want to try out your first month on Scentbird for $11 use my code and click the link in my description Okay, now let's get into the video Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today We have another video for you guys and you guys read the title today We are going to be going to a one-star restaurant and a Five star restaurant. This is my boyfriend. I'm gonna be taking him on a lovely date today. Today we're gonna be going to the one star restaurant, and I'm honestly so nervous because you haven't read the reviews, right? Well, I have, and they do not look good. We're gonna read some reviews here in the car just to kind of warm up <laughs> before we go eat there. You know, you know. I mean, how bad can it come on? There's 140 reviews on this restaurant, and it has one star. That means 140, if not more, people went there and thought it was a one star restaurant. How does that make you feel? I mean, I like food, so. To be honest, we've been to a lot of restaurants where. Where, like people are like the food sucks and we're like we thought it was pretty good <laughs> so maybe it'll be good you don't know but let's go ahead and read some of the reviews before we go so I couldn't really find that many like low star restaurants the only one I could find was a pizza place okay. this place is called house of pizza <laughs> So we're super nervous, but let's go ahead and read some of the reviews, shall we? Yes. Okay. Wait, we also gotta read some good reviews, come on. Okay, I guess. <laughs> There's like one. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> the first review says, why didn't I check Yelp before ordering? We know food and this place is not it. This place is freaking garbage. An investigation needs to happen in this place because I can't believe this is a real restaurant. Order if you dare. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really worried about like the food tasting bad because I mean it's okay But like imagine how they're making it like what if it's like actually disgusting uh, in there <laughs> It says stay far away. I meant to check Yelp before ordering, but it's the only thing available at midnight I should have ate air instead for dinner. I am disappointed <laughs> in myself for allowing this to happen I ordered a small pizza with pepperoni bacon banana peppers extra banana. cheese banana peppers oh. spinach and alfredo sauce this place gave me a dry pizza with no sauce and no bacon or extra cheese. What was the point? I should have pulled up on the woman who answered the phone. She need a new roll. And they don't clean their oven. Cheers. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. Bro, this is a Bro, round. That okay, the oven, baby. Really, that's really what gives good. it the taste. That's what gives it the taste. Okay, we're going to read a few more because we don't want to scare ourselves too much before we go into yeah, this. I'm really okay. scared. They put, can I give less than one star? Yeah, this is the worst pizza I've ever had. It showed up half raw. The pizza Ooh. dough wasn't even cooked. I'd rather eat the hotel room carpet. Oh. <laughs> Wait, there is one five star review. Oh, five star review. It just says one. outstanding pizza. Nice people too. Uber dropped me here in error. Glad I found this place. Well, maybe, maybe. See you soon, Joe. Maybe uh, there was just 130 bad experiences. And, you know, maybe that was just a mistake. Maybe it was mm -hmm. an accident. Yeah. You know. Okay, so first reactions when we went into the restaurant is I thought it was gonna be like a sit down place, but it was not. So it was like an order, but it was a mess. Like it really was not like the type of restaurant I would eat at just because it's like. 
little sketchy. It was so hot in there though, right? They had fans and they had fans. I guess their AC hotter. was out or something. Yeah, I but I literally felt like passing out. I don't know why my heart rate was so like. Maybe it was because we were filming or something, so I got nervous. But it felt like really hot in there. And then whenever we were ordering, the lady was like trying to fix her cable or something. Yeah, I guess so she I was. was like, she was on the phone with somebody. She was like yelling at them. She was like, "Why can't I get my service with you?" And I'm like. Uh, I was just like, okay. Okay, we just came to order the pizza. But anyway, so so bad so far, not too bad. She wasn't like super rude, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, she wasn't bad, bad. Pizza. We'll see. They said they were gonna take 30 minutes, so we're probably gonna go in back at seven. So right now we I might go get cream. we're gonna go get ice cream. I but ice cream. hopefully they finish because all the reviews said they took super long, so fingers <laughs> crossed. We'll be back by 10 We'll be back by 10. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're about, we got the food, we're ready to open it, and I'm so nervous. I have no idea what this is gonna be like. What is this? Mm. The mozzarella sticks? Okay, not bad. Oh I, it was supposed to come with dipping sauce, but, <gasps> is there sauce? There's sauce and the Ooh, are in baby. Here. All right, here, I'm gonna wait for you to get one too. Why does this look so, is that just me or does it look weird? This looks pretty good. Okay, dip it, dip it in there, dip it in there. Ready? ready this ranch looks weird though. Go ahead. Mm. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's pretty good. I mean, how could you mess up mozzarella sticks? Come on. Eight out of ten because they were like really soft and not really like, like that crunchy. Crunchy? Crunchy. Crunchy. Okay. All right. So mozzarella sticks were a pretty good pass. All right. Let's open up the next thing. Maybe. All right. The wings. Uh, the wings are the thing that scare me because chicken could easily go bad, like really bad. If they don't throw it out and yeah. it's old. What's gonna happen? Okay. Hey, they don't look that bad. Wait. Why? Why, yo, why do they look like that? I mean, they look like normal wings. Ooh, they don't look I mean, horrible. They look kind of crunchy. Wait, let's do bad. Let's be bad for the for the trailer. <gasps> oh, oh my god! You are lying. That's that's not real. There's no way that's real. Okay, that's for the trailer. <laughs> are we gonna try this? Or, uh, okay. I don't know. I'm kind of scared. Not gonna lie. They don't look horrible, to be honest. Cheers. The ranch is up here. You friend. know what? Let's try like that. Cause try like this? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm. Dude, this isn't bad at all. Like, it's pretty good. <laughs> I feel kind of dumb for being like, hey, this is pretty good, you know? Dude, what the heck? I quite enjoy these wings. These are like better than half the wings I've had. <laughs> They're crunchy. You can hear the crunch. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit more lemon pepper. I'll give it a good 7 eight. out of 10. I'll give it an 8. That's not bad. I've had worse wings than that. They're kind of burnt. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, dude, I'm not seeing anything bad with this. Real you know it's gonna fall. I'm sorry, I didn't. So, baby, I'm gonna have to take this away from you because I know you would eat the whole thing if I let you. Move on to whatever these are. Okay, let's go ahead and see what these are. Wait, what is this? Did we order this? Is this the what is this? This is a calzon. I've never had a calzon. What, what the heck Me is it? Either, but it does not look that good. Is it supposed to be that? <laughs> Wait, you've never had this before? No. Hi. How are we supposed to know if it's good? You know I've what? never even had one. It feels pretty good. No, I believe in this restaurant. I, I re Oh. Uh. Ew! Ew! I'm like <laughs> leaking juice. Oh god, I don't want to eat this one, love. Love, we gotta do it for the video. Why does it look like that? Because it's a calzone. It's like runny and look oh at god. This. this. It's like running it's all good. over the box. Oh, look at this. Oh, they here. like burnt it to a crisp. All right, give it a nice little taste test for us, love. <laughs> What do you think? Like a pizza. <laughs> Tastes like a pizza. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Do it. Wow. Look at that. Why are you it's so tasty. mushy? I don't know, because that's how it's supposed to be. Mm. Why is it so mushy? That's what it's supposed to be. Why does it taste like raw? It doesn't taste like it's cooked all the way. That's cheese, love. It doesn't taste like cheese, love. It's cheese. Love, it tastes raw to it's me. It's cheese, love. love. No, I'm serious. I don't like it. Ooh, 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 I don't like it. Ooh,
like it. It's cheese. <laughs> the calzones have cheese. It does not taste good to me. And you're going to town on it. <laughs> Wait, so what do you think? Oh. It's not, it's, the, not it's not the apple. How are you gonna say you think it's not good and then take another bite? I gotta, <laughs> I gotta really taste it. <laughs> it does not look good on my end. <laughs> I'm sorry. It does not look good on my end. Um, I just don't trust it. And Joe is literally about to eat the whole thing right now. I swear, is that cheese or no? Yes, it looks... love, it's cheese. Oh, no. I don't I know. I don't like it. Oh, my hands are all sticky. Okay. Ew, love, ew! What's wrong with you? You're just going. Man versus food, baby. Go. <laughs> so far, Joe does not think it's bad at all. I think it's all right. I mean, it's not good. I don't like it. <laughs> Get it away from me. I don't know why I was. Doing it. <laughs> Get this away from me. Oh. Okay, now it's starting to hit. I think my stomach is really sick. <laughs> Love ew, bro. No, you're so gross. Ew, I told you you have to eat it, love. Oh my god. I told you it was not good. <laughs> Ew, babe, babe, babe. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Love. Oh my god. Are you literally throwing up right now? I told you, love. And you're over there tearing it up. Oh my goodness! Ugh. <laughs> Are you? What's wrong That's with you? Good. Well, yeah, it's good after you ate half of it. Okay, I did not like this. I did not like this at all. I'm gonna give it like a uh -uh. a zero. Yeah, I give it a two. <laughs> I have to get that taste out of my thing somehow. Put that back there. Throw it out. <laughs> I can't just throw it out the car, love. All right. Moment of truth, the pizza, the house of pizza. Oh, Yay! that looks good. No, redo it. We're supposed to be bad. Oh, <laughs> that's nasty. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go ahead and give it a shot. It looks not bad. It doesn't have any taste. It doesn't have any flavor, right? <laughs> I thought it was just me. It has like no flavor at all. Mm. 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 The pineapples are good though. <laughs> mm. It doesn't have a lot of, oh, you're just like taking random bites of everything, love. Well, because I have to taste this because it had cheese. Freaking cochino, <laughs> cochino. I'm gonna take another bite. It's Sorry, it fell. <laughs> This is, it's very cheesy. It's not horrible. I have to say, it really isn't horrible. I mean, I'm eating it still. So. I'll give it a good 8 out of 10. I'll give it a 7. Oh, oh man. Mm -hmm. I really have, I don't have anything bad to say about it. Mm -mm. It's lacking some flavor, but oh, you know. I'm still eating it. <laughs> because I really gotta get the taste. I honestly think the reason. Are you gonna finish that? I honestly think the reason that like most of the reviews were pretty bad was because they were ordering at like 2 in the morning. I have to say though that cut whatever that was, was not good. Uh, yeah, and you ate like fun. half of it. You ate like half of it, love. You're probably mm. going to end up throwing up more tonight. I actually want another wing. But you know, before we finish eating, let's go ahead and just say our final thoughts before Joe... Okay. Honestly, completely honest, I'm not... It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I thought it was going to be way worse, but it was not that bad. Of course, the restaurant wasn't the best looking, and the food wasn't the best tasting, but... <laughs> Can you just cut him out? He's just, like, eating like crazy. Totally but true. anyways, guys, that was the one star. Not too bad, but now we get to go to the five star, and I'm super excited for that. So, stay tuned, and let's go to eat this some five This is pretty good. <laughs> You better not! Oh god! It wasn't that bad, but you're throwing up, huh? Oh my. Just that. <coughs> Sorry. Will we come back? No. Definitely not. Definitely not. Oh man, my stomach's starting to hurt. <laughs> okay. okay, guys, let's go 
go to the five star restaurant. Okay guys, so it is now the day of our five star date and we're all dressed up, very fancy, cause you know it's a five star restaurant. Wow. So we have to dress up, super excited. Hopefully it's really good. Five star, so we'll see how it goes. What we'll are you see. thinking? I think this is gonna be good. We've been saving our appetite the whole day, so it better be good. All right, yep. let's go eat. Okay guys, so this is the restaurant. It's called wow. Chama Gaucha. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but it is super fancy. I'm so excited. We're gonna go in and we're gonna get some footage for you guys and see if this restaurant, hopefully they, let hopefully they let us film, but we'll have to see if this restaurant really is five star quality. She brought a stand for my purse. Okay, so we're here at the five-star restaurant. She pulled out our chairs. Oh my gosh. And I feel like I don't belong here. I really feel like I don't belong here. Let me see if y'all can hear me. It's so incredibly dark in here though. I kind of feel uncomfortable in a sense. I feel like it's such a dark room and I'm like, can't see anything. <laughs> but it's really loud in here too. I would expect more of like a calm ambiance, but it's kind of rowdy in here, not gonna lie, but. Brazilian lemonade. Uh, uh, is that the same thing as the? Yeah, the lemonade. Thank you. Uh, tap water. Whatever you don't charge for. <laughs> you know how everything works? Uh, not exactly. We're about to take a check and look at the menu. Okay, so this is like, I feel like it's too loud. Like it is loud. I can't even hear you. Like I don't know what you're saying. Like, what? It's, it's definitely very fancy, you know, and it feels like I just came into like a dark cave <laughs> with like so much food. It's my environment, totally my environment. I have to say, I have to, I'm ready to eat, let's eat. Okay, so they just brought us our lemonades. It's like bubbly, I don't even know. I don't even know how much this costs. I kind of just bought it. Right. Let's try it, okay. You want to start your second course? You're gonna turn that over to green, and as long as you're on green, they'll, they'll start bringing you meats. Oh, so we have fourteen meats. Fourteen. So. 14 meat. Joe's being cheap and asking how much they charge. Okay guys, so the way this restaurant, fancy five-star restaurant works is we have these little cards and there's two courses. We can go get our salad bar over there, unlimited salad or whatever, and then they'll bring us like sides and stuff. But when you switch the card to green, they will come and bring you meat to your table, like a bunch of different kinds of meat. It's pretty much an all-you-can-eat steak place. And then when you flip it to red, they'll stop bringing meat and greens go. So, you know, let's go. No. No green. I get full very easy. We need to like keep it on red. Let's go get some salad. We're gonna get some shots of the food and test it out. See if it's any good. We paid good money. We come all the way from France. Watch out! Oh, I'm sorry. We I'm sorry. Here. Here, everybody. <laughs> all right, so we got some Italian salad, which I think. Wait, you want Italian or you want Caesar? Uh, Caesar. Okay, Caesar salad. This is a self-serve. Come on. Five star, we have to serve our own salad. I don't think I really would like any of the stuff. It's all kind of uh, bizarre. It's like olives, like little kind of snacks, you know? Okay, but the, what I do want is garbanzo. Ooh, what have you tasted that? It? I don't know, let's try it. What's a little garbanzo for? Well, it's not gonna hurt nobody. Potato salad, pepperoni for the young woman. Do they send it to me for Oh, baby. Ooh, talk to us, Joe. There's some cheese. Okay, okay. I got some chicken salad. Let's just let's just get to the point, okay? We got some cheese bread, okay? They they feel way better, um, good quality right here. Let's let's tear it up a little bit. Ooh, okay, but before we eat this, we're gonna pray. So we. Every, okay, will. please bow your heads, everybody. Mm. <laughs> she was looking at you like you were crazy. 
This is some five star quality right here. Nice, hot, juicy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this salad. It looks like normal salad. I don't know. We'll see if it's five star salad. I can't. I don't. I don't think it will be. I don't like it. Okay, let me tell you something though. We're here for the meat. Though. Well, let's try these little breads. Right, oh, these look yummy. Exquisite. We're gonna chow down and we'll update you guys when we get the meat, baby. All right, guys, so I just finished all of my little appetizers and we're about to go green, baby. Boom. <laughs> He just ditched me. I was green. He looked at it. He said, nah. You know what? He, they're losing stars at the second. Okay, never mind. We got a fresh plate. Thank you. Thank you. What is this, my friend? Is this supposed to be bloody? Uh, Baby, it's got blood on it. I don't know if I want it. Sure, give me some lamb chops. I'll have a lamb chop. You want a lamb chop? I'll have a lamb chop. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. Man, he is a nice worker, dude. He needs a raise, that man over there. And I need to be kicked out because I'm loud and obnoxious. But that's, I think I belonged in the one star restaurant a little bit more than this one, if I'm being honest with you. Okay, how I like my meat bloody, but you know, it's a time to try something new. All right, this is ribeye, I think. Oh my. Mm. It's just exquisite. Oh, that's some five star steak right there, baby. And they'll just keep bringing us meat, so. We're on green right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we got cornbread. We got cornbread, uh, bananas, and some potatoes. The mashed potatoes. Um, I have to say though, that's pretty uh, kind of greedy with the cornbread, bro. They could have brought us a little bit more. It's pretty good. It's all right. To be honest with you, it was good, but there is like a lot of the meats that I don't like. I didn't like that one. I didn't like that one. That one's okay. It's kind of a mess of meats at this point, but I don't like those. Those are okay. It's like uh, some of them are hit or miss. Oh, I don't want to tell you guys. I'm. My dress doesn't want to fit anymore. I don't know if you can see, but it's like squeezing. I'm like ready to pop out of my dress. It's really bad. I should have brought something with a little bit more room, if you know what I mean. Like, I'm not even joking with you. Like, I'm actually uncomfortable because of how tight this dress is right now. If I'm being honest with y'all, I'm pretty sick of the food. Like, I'm not even joking. I'm kind of like, ugh. It's just so salty and like greasy and... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have to eat though. I have to get my money's worth. I'm like shoving this meat down my throat. Cut that. <laughs> I'm kind of over it, to be honest with you. I really am, but here we are. Cheers. I think I might have enjoyed the wings a little bit more. <laughs> if I were to say one thing about this restaurant, it would be that you're not only paying for the food that's actually amazing, but you're actually paying for just the whole experience of coming and really feeling like you're in Brazil, like eating like a Brazilian in a steakhouse, like for real. Just like the waiters and the ambiance and the food and the everything, it really just makes you feel luxurious and I think that's what you're paying for when you're going to a five star restaurant and I have to say I really like this restaurant, the food, I'll pass. It's a little too rich for my taste. I think I'll go back to the wings at the one star if I'm being honest with you. But it was still a fun experience and we're gonna get some dessert so stay tuned. So there's this one freaking waiter dude and I he was giving Joe some food and I was like oh that looks good so I flipped my car to green and I'm like I'll have some and he looks at me he goes I'll come back. I'm like what do you mean? You're right here right now. Give me the stupid steak, bro. He's so mean. Ever since we got here, he was just like looking at me ugly, dude. All right, we got our good friend. What's your name? John. John Luciano. John is going to help us with this cheesecake. He's going to light it up, baby. Five-star restaurant right here. Let's see it.
All right, let's tear it up, baby. Let's see if it's good. Y'all have a bite with me. This is to you, my avocados. Have a taste. All right, so let's check out the bill. Chamagacha. $130? <laughs> That's like 65 for each of us. But dude, the employees here are such freaking nice people. I don't even mind. I'll give them $200, okay? I love this restaurant. I love it. Once again, I just want to thank Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Do not forget to use my code for 30% off on Scentbird. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And let me know which one did you like better, the one star or the five star. And we'll see you guys next time.